Okay, what am I doing? What am I doing today? What are we gonna do? Are we gonna go ride the one wheel outside? I think so. Heading downstairs from my place and we're gonna take the one wheel around to what are my favorite places to go eat and hang out here in my neighborhood, which is Sunabe, Shatan area of Okinawa. And I'll kind of show you guys that and tell you something kind of cool that is happening with me uh, as of today that you might all be interested in hearing about. So get ready, we're gonna go for a little ride. So there's this place right here. It's called Restaurant Our Door. We call it the uh, octopus handle uh, door right here. And this place is a really, really good restaurant. It's like really fancy. They only have the chef's like eight course tasting menu. And I wish I could tell you what kind of food it is, but it's like hard to pin. It's kind of Italian, kind of Japanese, kind of Mexican, kind of American. The wallpaper inside is everything from like a circus to American Indians to who knows what man honestly the place is, is all over the place with its theme but it's definitely good so if you're in Okinawa you want somewhere really nice to go that is restaurant our door and our door means uh, uh, passion so this place right here is Coffee Casa. They make the best cappuccino I've ever had in my life. And they have some really good breakfast food and uh, lunch food too. They're usually open from like seven in the morning to 3 p.m. but they've been under under construction or something like that. They just redid this, just redid this patio. So this is all, all brand new. And then uh, this is the Istanbul uh, kebab house and they have really good kebabs. Really tasty stuff here, Turkish and the guy's pretty cool. Uh, this is the guy right here. So if you ever want a kebab, you can swing by here. This place is I'm going to head good. down a little side road. It's all about side roads in Okinawa. You, you follow Google Maps, it'll take you down some really unusual side roads. And you're thinking, this can't be right. And these roads are barely narrow enough for one car. But they are not one-way roads. They are two-way roads. And you just have to hope that nobody else decides to go the same way as you as you traverse these Okinawan side streets. And I'm gonna pop out right here by the seawall, which uh, I've been on many times, because it's right where we live, and it's a really nice place to go cruise. This person just passed me. They were basically on the wrong side of the road. There is some definite bad driving in Okinawa, so be careful on the road. So there's a little cafe I actually ate here this week. It's really, really, really good. Some cool scuba spots. There is a cool sushi spot. This is Transit Cafe, which I have not been to. They have a little upstairs area. I've never eaten there, but I do want to try it someday. And then right here is the, on the third floor there is the best, my favorite pizza place in town. So if you ever want some pizza, there's a Napoli, Napoli pizza. And then I'll kind of show you the, the hottest club Tsunabe is right here behind me is Sidelines. Sidelines Grill is uh, definitely a popular spot for uh, all the Americans to go to. It is a American themed, American food, American style bar and grill and it's pretty cool they have trivia night there the food is kind of eh but the beer is flowing freely and you can go have a good time there trivia on tuesdays taco tuesday we watch the rugby world cup there it's a pretty cool spot but uh just so you know what you're getting when you go there it's 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 american let me show you if you do want to go to a cool little bar and get some beer in, in uh Shatan in okinawa we'll head to that place here in a second all right, so we're coming up on my spot right here. I don't know why, it's really not my spot. I've only been here 
Only been here, I had to hop off the one wheel there. Only been here one other time, but it's really cool. And it's Beer Rise, am I pointing at it? Beer Rise is a pretty fun little spot. What they have here is a ton of beer on tap. They have a lot of German beer. Uh, I'll tell you, German beer is very popular in Okinawa, like classic German beer. They love it and it is really good too. And they do have food and they have cool parties here. So if you're in the neighborhood and you wanna go somewhere for a beer or to have a good time, my recommendation is number one, beer rise, number two, sidelines, and then there's a few onesie twosie spots around, but uh, these are the main spots. Now, I just wanna come cruise around the one wheel today, get out of the house for a little bit. And actually, uh, I had a big thing that I wanna talk about, something that was on my mind recently and I finally pulled the trigger on, so to speak. Uh, and I will tell you that in a second, as soon as I find somewhere to kind of post up and chill for a minute. So let's go there. All right, I'm gonna try to hit this ramp. Let me try. Ramps are tough. It's gonna be a tight turn. All right. First turn is good. It's the second turn. It's the second turn that's tough. Toe side. Toe side turn. Oh, I made it. Can't believe it. It's not easy to do, folks. Not easy to do. It's true skill, true one wheel skill. Seawall here safely. All right, now let's go cruise around the seawall for a minute. This is where all the scuba divers get in the water from. He's right here. There's a uh, scuba shop right across the street. People come out here and they do their scuba lessons. So this is where people learn how to scuba dive. This is where people go scuba diving for fun. You can just walk right into the water right here and go do your scuba thing. If you're scuba-ing, do your scuba thing. It's this uh, Max Air Arc Dive Diving School. I don't know what the actual name of it is. It's one of those two things, Arc Dive or, or Max Air or whatever. I hope it's Max Air, because that's my name. And when I was playing basketball, that was my street name. They would call me Max Air, because when I jumped up to dunk, I would go so high. A lot of times I would just go right over the basketball hoop and onto the next court and dunk in the wrong hoop. And, uh, and as a result of being that good at, at dunking and jumping, uh, I often wasn't picked for the basketball team because I would get you know, end up scoring points for the wrong team. Oh, hey, you know what? I think these, there's some kids down here playing getting, uh, fishing. I think they were out here yesterday. And they dropped their ball in the water, and I was doing some photography, and I got a really cool picture of them trying to get their ball out of the water, which I'll show right now. I thought that was a cool picture. Uh, I'd be proud to post that on my Instagram. So, okay, anyway, I'm going to post up over here, I think and uh, find a good spot and talk about what it is that I came out here to talk about today. All right, I've never been up this staircase before, so I'm actually gonna go up here. There's, you know what, there's all these bugs. See, see this? There's all these bugs out here, and uh, they've been chewing me up. I don't know what they are, I'm not worried about it. Anyway, I'm going up these stairs. There's maybe 15 steps, and if I'm not too tired, we'll see you up there. All right, now we're up here. I'm gonna post up right here, and uh, hopefully you guys will be able to see me, and I want to chat about something really quick. So hold on one second, let me set up the camera. Okay, so I am very happy and very excited to announce that I have decided and have officially ordered all the gear to replace everything that was stolen in the summer for the Scuttlebutt Show. So the podcast episodes will be coming back. Uh, this is... Uh, really exciting for me because I've been getting a lot of feedback and people telling me to start it up again to go ahead and do it and that they liked it and that means a ton to me that means a lot and uh, I look forward to starting new episodes soon so I am going to start reaching out to guests and uh, people I think would be good uh, store people who have good stories and information to share with the with everyone with all you guys uh, in regards to life after the military because it life keeps going on that's what I've uh, that's what I've been learning and I am really excited to be able to do this from Okinawa because 
Okinawa has a lot of veteran-owned businesses out here, as well as veterans, like active duty, who are doing really interesting stuff. And I learned that Okinawa has a VFW, so I'm going to be going by the VFW and uh, seeing what that's all about. That's got to be, there's got to be some cool characters at the VFW in Okinawa, I'm sure of it. So, that's the big news. Podcasts will be coming back to whatever streaming service you've been listening to the Scuttlebutt Show on. Thank you. I still I still get uh, updates from the show that there are people listening every week. Uh, people are downloading and listening to the episodes, which there hasn't been a new episode in in uh, several months, like six months or more. more. It's been a while. So uh, I want to say thank you to everyone who, uh, there's jets flying overhead. Let's let those pass. You know, the sound from that's actually not too bad. I don't really hear it from inside our house and I really don't mind them uh, living next to the runway. It's pretty cool actually to be able to watch those jets fly over. I took a picture yesterday, so I'll show you that picture. But uh, anyway, um, I'm really excited to be bringing you new stories and meeting new people and sharing new content and putting out new episodes. Uh, I have been badly missing doing that. It is a really fun, really enjoyable part of my life. So uh, that's coming back. And in the, in the weeks leading up to, those, to that gear coming, uh, I'm going to keep doing some videos, uh, hopefully a couple times a week like this. And uh, as soon as the stuff comes, what I'll do is I will show you what I got. I'll open it up, I'll do a video of me uh, opening up and setting up that stuff. And I'll be ready to do phone interviews, uh, live interviews, uh, calls over over Zoom or whatever, and uh, get it get it really going again. So another jet's flying by. So just want to say thank you. This is mainly to say thank you to everyone who pushed me to do this, who said that they enjoyed the show. Let's let this jet fly over. There's two of them. So this is, I just want to say thank you to everyone who listens, who supports me, who tells me that they enjoy the show, who tells me that they got something out of it, because uh, I get a lot out of it, and I hope to continue to get a lot out of it and give a lot through it. So I am, I am really excited. Uh, I think I've already said that a few times, but I am. I'm really excited. So thanks for coming on this tour of my neighborhood with me. Maybe this can be the thumbnail right here. Maybe the jet will be in the shot. Hang on. Hopefully there's a still in there somewhere. That's how, that's how you do a good thumbnail. So anyway, thanks for coming on this tour of my neighborhood with me and checking out the spots I like to go eat. They were all closed. Uh, social distancing is very real out here. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting the Scuttlebutt Show. And if you have any, uh, any, any comments or suggestions for future stuff, be sure to leave them down below. If you guys can, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel where we'll be sharing all the clips and uh, featurettes and stuff from future episodes. Uh, go on Instagram, you find me on Instagram at the Max Bloom, which I think now I guess I'm gonna change that back to the Scuttlebutt Show because I changed that because it wasn't really uh, the Scuttlebutt Show uh, for a while, but now that it's gonna be again, maybe I'll change it back, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Keep it all kind of one brand and some people can find it really easily. And uh, stay, stay tuned for streaming episodes of the Scuttlebutt Show coming soon. I'm out here for now. Later.